Godzilla owes his name to a mix of the words gorilla and whale in Japanese, which translates his omnipotence. At the cinema, he was going to look like a giant octopus, but in the end, it was in the guise of a prehistoric hybrid creature that the world's most famous kaiju came to life. In popular culture, Godzilla is everywhere. He's the hero of 36 films, as well as video games, cartoons, and manga. He even has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Godzilla was originally portrayed by an actor in a latex suit. The costume weighed more than 100 kilos, and the inside could get up to 60 degrees. Luckily, since then, technology has developed, and so has Godzilla. From one film to the next, his size varies from 50 to 120 meters high, at a supposed weight of 20,000 to 90,000 tons. Godzilla appeared in the cinema in 1954, at a time when Japan was still recovering from the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. With this legendary creature awakened by atomic radiation, the director, Ishiro Honda, portrayed the trauma of an entire population facing an unknown threat that destroyed everything in its path, without exception. A symbol of human chaos. In 67 years of existence, Godzilla's enemies have tried to bury him in magma, send asteroids his way, he has survived all sorts of attacks. With his radioactive breath, he can melt steel and atomize his targets into space. He can also knock down skyscrapers with one swish of his tail. A reminder, if any were needed, that nature always takes back its rights. When he's not avenging humanity, Godzilla fights all sorts of enemies. Japanese monsters, of course, but not just them. In a comic strip in the 70s, he even found himself facing the Marvel Avengers. His most legendary adversary is King Kong, who he faced at the cinema in 1962 and again in 2020. It's difficult to say who really won because the two titans survived their fight and even ended up joining forces. On Godzilla, a scientist will say that the arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control and not the other way around.